Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at a mall that has been falling on very hard times recently. And with ownership not really being in the greatest of hands, it is unknown what the future of this mall will be. Let's take a stroll through the Washington Crown Center Mall in Washington, Pennsylvania. To start with the history, Washington Crown Center Mall originally opened as the Franklin Mall in 1969. With Sears, Troutman's, and Grant's City as anchors, the mall would receive pretty high fanfare. 
Grant City would become Hills in 1976. An Acme supermarket was also located in the parking lot of the mall right near the Hills slash Grant City. However, that would close in 1977. Crown American, who developed the Franklin Mall, was very proud of the architecture of this mall. A lot of Crown American's malls have a lot of distinct architectural features that you really don't see in many other malls. In 1984, Troutman's would close as it was sold to Palmeroy's, which would convert over to Bonton in 1987. In 1985, however, an expansion would be added to the mall to add a Hess's department store and get a new Hills location, replacing the old Hills with a food court. Welcome to 1999, where we would come to see the mall as it pretty much stands in its interior look to this day. The name change would happen in 1999, rebranding from Franklin Mall to the name we know today, Washington Crown Center. Along with this, an extensive interior remodel would happen to give the image that you guys see today. Also around the same time, a Kaufman's would be added as a fifth anchor store. Also, around the same time, the Hills was converted to an Ames. Unfortunately, however, the Ames would close in 2002. But being addressed with the replacement of Gander Mountain coming in to fill in the old Ames in 2003, with Kaufman's rebranding to Macy's at the end of 2005. In 2013, Marshalls replaced the Old Navy, and in 2014, Ross Dress for Less took up about 25,000 square feet of former mall retail space. Their trend in Washington Crown Center seemed to be at the time to replace all of the closing smaller shops with bigger, more national chains. However, as we could see, it's mostly not worked. Marshalls these is the only one that still remains. And the troubles would then begin. In August 2016, Priot, who acquired Crown American, 
would sell them all in 2016 to Kohan Retail Investment Group. This would result in the start of the decline for Washington Crown Center, as in 2017, Macy's and Gander Mountain would both close their doors for good. Two anchors hit right away at once. However, the Gander Mountain would be replaced by a rural king in March of 2018. However, 2018 was not an easy year for the Washington Crown Center either, as Bonton filed for bankruptcy and closed all locations, including the Washington Crown Center one. And then in August of 2019, Sears announced that they would be closing the location at Washington Crown Center, leaving no Sears locations left in Western Pennsylvania. This was the last major anchor to leave, so this was a real tough struggle for the mall. Now from here, I wanna leave some of my personal thoughts and ideas for this mall that could maybe help it in the long run. Personally, I don't think the renovation here is horrendous. I think this was not a bad renovation at all. Definitely was needed, albeit I would have loved to have seen this place in its original state. The renovation is not the worst that I've seen out there. It is not great by all means, but it is definitely not the worst, and it is a tolerable mall in terms of the design. Now, with Kohan Retail at the helm of owning this mall, it is very unknown what the future could be. However, the day that I visited, as you can see in this bonus footage, it was an interesting day. There was a community event going on in the mall called Kids Fest, which actually resulted in me visiting this mall for a way longer period of time than I expected because they were just finishing up the event as I arrived. So my first attempt at filming didn't really go to plan. So I had to wait about a half hour after trying to shoot that original attempt to wait for them to start packing away all of the stuff from the kids fest and to wait for most of the people to leave to get the main tour that you guys saw here before. But this was the original attempt. As you can see, for kids fest going on, it was pretty busy. I think this mall's retail days are numbered at this point. I don't think this is going to remain as a full, proper, thriving retail center anymore. There's no way it's going to happen, especially with Kohan Retail at the helm. However, one thing I do think would be a great suggestion is to turn this mall into a community center. Have community-driven events here. That is one thing that I definitely could tell on this visit that seemed to do well and bring people to the mall. Keep doing these community-driven events. That's one thing that will keep people coming to the mall, at least for something. It's always nice to see a community looking back into their mall and having their events in the mall because then it brings more shoppers and or just visitors into the mall. I think this is a great idea, and I think this could be one way that Washington Crowd Center could continue to stick around.
Thank you so much for watching my video tour of the Washington Crown Center Mall in Washington, Pennsylvania. I really did enjoy my visit here. Before the video completely ends, however, I would like to show you some bonus footage I captured on this day. First would be a drone montage I captured from the outside of this mall before it got really bad out in terms of the weather. The other thing I would like to capture is the mall that this mall killed. There were two malls in Washington, Pennsylvania, the other one being the infamous abandoned Washington Mall just a couple exits down the highway. That mall closed, I believe, in 2006 and still sits abandoned to this day. I did drive past it on the highway, so I did get a quick clip of it. So I will show that right before this drone montage. But if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Until next time, guys, have a great day.